Hello there, Kimberly Olson here, also known as the Gold Digger Girl, and I have another episode of Hashtag Get Lit for you, and you are going to love it because we are going to do an Instagram highlights tutorial, so it'll be super hands-on. I'm going to share a screen with my cell phone. You know those cute little circles that everybody has? I'm going to show you how to create those in this video for free. Get ready. Okay, so if you don't know what the Instagram highlights are, I'm gonna show them to you right now and then we're gonna look at how to actually do it. I have the seven steps for you right in front of me. So if you're taking notes, write this down. But what we're looking for is want to be able to have the Instagram highlights active on your Instagram profile. It looks nice, but it's also, it keeps your stories alive because as you know, stories go away after 24 hours and it's such a waste. It's like, oh, even if you have you know stuff with your kids or your husband or whatever, or maybe a testimonial from a client, you want that stuff to be alive and well, right? You don't want it to just be gone and lost. Plus, I don't know about you, but whenever I make a story and it's, it, I put some work into it, I'm sad to see it go after 24 hours. So Instagram highlights will let you archive them so people can view all the stories that you've collected for that specific highlight. It's really cool. And it shows more dimensions to who you are because people can see you know, like I said, testimonials, are you traveling? Are you in the health and wellness space? Are you with your family? They can see different sides of who you are in all those stories versus the feed, which is much more static, okay? So we're gonna share my screen right now. And if you are listening right now, we are sharing my screen. It's gonna take a second here. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Canva. If you don't have Canva, it's free. You need it, it's going to make your life better. Let's just be serious. Okay, so with Canva, what we first want to do is go right here where it says Instagram story. A highlight needs to be the same shape of a story because, well, pretty much. I'll show you why. I mean, you could technically do it with a post, but we want it to look consistent. So just follow, follow the steps here. All right, we're going to do an Instagram story. We're going to click blank. You could scroll through and see if you can find some templates too. But I'm going to show you a really simple way to do it with just font. But you could do images here if you wanted to. Look at other people's to get inspiration. All right, we're going to tap to edit it. Now, I have my branded colors down here. You could click this eyedropper um, to grab a color anywhere. Or you can just go off of the color palette. I recommend having your brand color the six digit hex code. I recommend saving that on your phone. I use it all the time. So there's my pink color right there. Okay, so it's branded. It's gonna be consistent with the Gold Digger Girl brand. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click plus edit, okay? So you can use font or graphic. So right here, some examples. If you do this from your Canva desktop, there's more features, it's easier. But because what I'm gonna show you is so simple, I wanna show you how I did this. So you could even use the shape feature right there and so you can grab some free shapes if you wanted to do a heart like you could talk about your kids and put a heart shape but i'm going to use words because i did this for my recently and i really liked this myself so we'll say um crushing it crushing it we'll just use that now what we want to do though so we're just going to type what we want to do is we want to change the style obviously so there's a ton of different templates that they had already uh, but i chose my own so I like the script look. You can actually type in script. I learned that from my branding person, Christita Lee. She's amazing. Okay, so let's say we like this one. We click done. And then I also want to change the color. So you just click that little square. My branded colors are down here. I use white. But again, you can just pop in your, your whatever you want there. If you grab it with your fingers, you can make it bigger. And guess what? This is the cool part. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you upload it into your highlight, which I'm going to show you, we're going to head over in a minute, you can resize it when you're choosing it as your highlight cover. Okay, it's going to look really cool. So let's say that's what we want to use. We click done and then we are going to save it. Done. Save. Download it. Okay. So now we've got it on my phone. Awesome. Let's go over to Instagram. Okay, so you guys can see mine right here. Testimonials, Get Lit, Fit Kim, Work With Me, My Loves, Fire, and Gold Diggers. Whatever highlight you've been in last, it will actually 
make that one pop up to the front. So whatever, like when people are on their phone, right when they come to my page, this is what they see. I'm going to want my most important stuff towards the front there. Okay. So see how it just adds another dimension and people can kind of browse through my different things I got going on. All right. Now what we're going to do is the next step, which is we are going to upload to our stories. Okay. So click the plus symbol. And then we are going to grab that image from my stories, crushing it. Okay. So you're, I actually, I'll, when I went through and cleaned these up, I just did it during the middle of the day and no one even cared. But if you want to do it at night, just because people are less likely to see it, I mean, it's still going to be up for 24 hours, but people might just be like, yeah, crushing it. Right. So you're going to click send to, and we are going to post it. Now, what we're going to do is we want to turn it into a cover, right? So let's, we're going to make a, uh, we're going to hit the plus symbol to do a new highlight. Um, let's say, actually, let's go back because you probably already have some. So let's do testimonials. What we're going to do is we are going to click the story. We want this new highlight to be the face of. Once we pull it up, click the little more button. See that more button in the corner with the three dots? Edit highlight. And you might have to go back and watch this again when you go to actually do it. That's what, how I'm, that's why I wrote down the seven steps. So look at this edit cover. So all you do is click edit cover and then see how I said that you could move it around. This pulled up um, the one I currently chose for this cover, but I could go into my stories. Let me show you actually, let me back up. Let me show you how to grab the new highlight. So before you go and edit cover, go to archive. And then it's going to pull up the most recent stories I've had. So let's click crushing it. We're going to add crushing it to, to this list. So now when we edit the cover, crushing it is right there. You see how I did that? So you want to add your new story to this highlight. And then when we edit the cover right here, edit, see where it says edit cover, then we're going to be able to grab that highlight we just added. Okay, so I'll go back and show you one more time. So in the bottom corner here, click the more button, edit highlight. We're going to go over to archive right here, archive, and we're going to grab that new highlight we just uploaded to our stories. Click that. You can even go done just so it's in there and you feel better. Okay, we're going to go back, edit highlight, go up here to edit cover. Oops, and you can edit the cover. So just scroll down to the bottom until you find the one that you want. And we, you can move it around, you can stretch it out, you can do all kinds of stuff, isn't that cool? So that way it just looks really nice on your phone. I'm gonna cancel because this is not the one that I want for that. And then there you go. And now it's gonna look beautiful and fabulous, just like that, pure magic. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I think you're going to love that. Your, your highlights are just going to pop. They're going to look amazing. So when you're done, report back, comment below. I did it, Kimberly. My highlights are looking awesome. If you love this video, subscribe, click the like button, and I will be back for another episode. I post two new episodes every week, free content to help you get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.